All right, here's, they're telling us this is a geometric sequence, <coughs> and they want us to find um, the first five terms, and they also want us to find a, a formula uh, for the nth term. Okay? Yep. <coughs> so here's what we know about this. If it's geometric, I have, <coughs> excuse me, this is the third one. Then I'm going to have a fourth one, a fifth one, and the sixth one. So here's my sixth one, 243 all over 8, and here's my third one, 9. So what did I do? Let me change color so you can see. What did I do to this? What do I do to this? I multiply it by what? I multiply it by r one time. So this is 9 times r. This one is what? 9 times r squared. And this one is what? 9 times r cubed. So that's 9 times r cubed. A shorter way to do that, I did that so you can understand, but the shorter way is just take 6 minus 3, which is what? 3. That means you have to multiply 3 r's. You have to multiply 9 by r, the common ratio, 3 times to get to 243 over 8. That's what you're doing. All right? So let's solve this equation. Divide by 9. So I'm going to put a 9 there. I'm going to cancel. What's 243 divided by 9? Why don't you just... I bet it's a nice number. But it's not. I bet it's like 27 or something like that. 27. You, know why, you don't want to know why I know it was 27? Because it's cubed. Because it's probably going to be a perfect cube. Now take the cube root of that. So what is r equal? 3 halves. All right. So if r is 3 halves, what was the first term? a sub 1, we have to work backwards. Here's a sub 3. If a sub 3 is 9, if I divide by three, that by three. 3 halves, 9 okay. divided by 3 halves means multiply and divide. So that's going to be 6, right? Because yeah. the 3's cancel, the 9 3 cancels, and you multiply by 2. And then divide that, that's a sub 2. So a sub 2, we just found that, is 6. And what's a sub 1? a sub 1 is going to equal 6 divided by four. 3 halves. It's 4. So a sub 1 equals 4. And now I can write my formula. Excuse me for making a big old mess around here, but here we go. Ready? a sub n, my nth term, is going to be equal to my first term, which is 4, times my common ratio, which is 3 halves, to the n minus 1 power. There's my nth term. Test it. See if it worked. What's your 6 term supposed to be? It's supposed to be that big old mess. Plug in 6 in for n. That would turn this into 5. Let me clear some space here. So we're testing this out. I always like to test it. a sub 6 equals 4 times 3 halves to the fifth. So this is, notice 4 is just 2 squared, right? Times 3 to the fifth all over 2 to the fifth. What happens to these 2's? 2 of the 2's cancel, so you get 3 to the fifth all over 2 squared. Or, sorry, 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8. 3 to the fifth is 243. Checks out, because that's what I got up here.